So one of the things that's always been a problem with many modern engines is something called blow-by gases. Now, what that in essence is, is when you have your pistons moving up and down and the rings obviously around the piston got small gaps in them, uh, you normally, yes, you'd normally try and align these away from one another to avoid too much flow-by. But yes, flow-by will inevitable, inevitably still happen. So what they normally do is they take the compression from those flow-by. And so this is also a problem on the OM642. And so what they normally do, modern man engine manufacturers, they actually take the compression that comes as a result into your crankcase as a result of the flow-by gases and they link it back to your inlet manifold. So what you want to do, you want to make, and, and then those flow-by gases as they get into your inlet manifold can in essence go, go through your turbo, it'll ultimately go through your airflow meter, everything, and any anyway it can also clog up and result in oil condensation appearing inside your intercooler. So the idea would be to actually fix this, remove it, clean it out first, and then before you start putting it back into the inlet manifold or the inlet uh, system of your vehicle. In the olden days, we would normally, especially on track days, we normally would have uh, just taken a pipe straight out of the crankcase, and then that flow-by gases would have just, that pipe would have just hung down past the engine. Nowadays, obviously, that's not allowed, and the, as uh, we start looking at environmental impact or envi envi environmental protection it's on, uh, we more and more try and restrict that. So it's become regulations uh, are also causing that engine manufacturers will not do that anymore. And so now, as I said, uh, all of this is now going into your inlet system. One way to remove those inlet gases is by the way, by way of fitting uh, uh, air oil separator or sometimes also referred to as a catch can so the unit that i fitted to this vehicle uh, this mercedes specifically on an om642 engine is the man and humble uh, provent 200 so i'll show a little bit more about this but in the meantime i'm just going to show you what i did and how i actually managed to get this in here so let's take the the cover off the engine cover first So here you can see the pipe coming from the crankcase ventilation valve. Uh, and there's the pipe that would have normally connected from there through to this pipe over here. So from that pipe there through to this pipe over here. And then here underneath, there's a red plug that'll go back into your inlet pipe and that'll pull it through to the turbo. There is some pressure regulation on here as well on your crankcase ventilation pressure release valve. But uh, if you want to, that's not enough. If you want to totally clean that air out, we can fit the man and hummel system as we've got it here. So what we've done, we've interrupted this pipe here, cut it off. I then put a, a straight, I actually made use of 19 mole pipe or 19 mole uh, connectors and then used the 20 mole pipe with an inner diameter of 20 mole with these clamps and then clamped it together. On the crankcase ventilation system, your pipes, the outlet and inlet on the crankcase, the ProVent 200, are actually 25 moles. So we had to get a reducer. I managed to get a, a reducer angle, a 90 degree elbow from fork spares and then use that. That's a silicon uh, 90 degree elbow and also including a reducer from 25 to 19. I then over here fit at the 90 degree elbow connector and then use the 20 mil pipe on the inlet system. So coming from the crankcase ventilation outlet, taking it into the ProVent 200 over here. And then once we got in the ProVent 200, 
it'll actually come in on the inside here and then there's a filter system inside here so it'll, the air will go in the top here and then oil condensation will form on the outside it'll drop down and go to the bottom of the the, the probe in toilet or catch can as they also refer to it down the bottom you've got a pipe that comes out that allows for clean air that will now come in and here it goes underneath and I fitted it there with a straight connector as well and that will now go into your inlet system over there so that in essence is the system as we fitted it and it really works well there's a pressure regulator down the bottom over there and also in the can here as well So we've actually tested it and as you can see we refurbished the, the crankcase ventilation pressure release valve and then also fitted the ProVent 200 catch can or oil air separator and as a result there is actually very little or there's about no oil coming back into the inlet system. So now at least I know my intercooler will not be packed up with oil, neither will the inlet system, there won't be a lot of oil in the inlet side of the turbo, and this engine can run a lot cleaner. Okay, so I hope this helped a little bit for anybody else who would like to fit or look at the address the issue of a, by, a flow by gases, and then actually fit a, a catch can or a, a oil air separator. So this unit is Proven from Man and Hummel. I'll put some information and in, uh, links in, uh, at the bottom of this uh, video, so you can also uh, manage to order it yourself. I'll put the, obviously the links in South Africa. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this.